Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Earth Connections video where we're exploring the essential oil of spikenard. Spikenard is a plant, a flowering plant in the valerian family that grows in alpine high regions up in the Himalayas. It is the root of the plant that is distilled and creates an amazing essential oil that has been used for centuries to honour people of high esteem. Most famously, Mary Magdalene anointed Jesus' feet at the Last Supper before his, crucif uh, his crucifixion, uh, um, and it's also said to grow at the gates of the Garden of Eden. So this is an amazing oil that's up there with frankincense and myrrh. And so in this video, I want to show you how you can honour yourself because you deserve all the honours and all the privileges that Spike Now Essential Oil brings to. Whereas some essential oils are really good for one specific thing, for example wintergreen and birch are really good for allowing muscles to relax, spikenard has a complex chemistry which allows it to be really great for a whole range of things. So by adding just a drop or two to any massage blend or any diffuser blend can help enhance the other essential oils that you're using. Specifically, spikenard is really good to put in massage blends to allow muscles to relax. It can help the individual to ground and feel settled and let go of stresses. This can have a really good effect for tension headaches and insomnia. Add your spikenard to your skincare because it can help your skin to be more radiant and youthful and can also help to dull any effects of allergic reactions. For women, it can also be really beneficial for the reproductive system. It helps promote uh, nice regular levels of estrogen and progesterone and keeps all of the reproductive system in the female really nice and healthy. Now it does have a slight laxative effect as well. So if you want either one of these two effects, by putting a little bit of spikenard in a carrier cream and rubbing it over the abdomen can be really great as well. Because of its unique scent, why not try adding spikenard to your deodorants as well? This can have a really nice effect because of all the different chemistry in there. It can help to kill bacteria as well as give you a nice earthy scent. Diffusing spikenard essential oil or adding a drop or two to the temples and the back of the neck, diluting it if needed, can have a whole bunch of benefits for the mind. It can help you to feel a lot more calm and grounded, increasing a sense of relaxation. It's really good for letting go of fears, especially fear of the unknown. If you're feeling anxious and you're not too sure what's ahead and that's making you really feel stressed, spikenard helps you to feel really calm in that way. It can also help you release uh, any kind of resentment that you're holding about what's happened in the past and thus it is an oil of forgiveness. So if you're holding on to some, some anger about what's happened, about the hand you've been dealt or by the way you've been treated by someone else, then what you want to do is you want to just breathe in that spikenard and repeat to yourself, all is well and I forgive, all is well and I forgive. And keep doing that day after day and start to allow that resentment because when you're holding resentment or anger, it's like you holding a hot coal and wanting someone else to suffer from it. You're the one who's getting burned. Spikenard allows you to release the shackles that have that often you know, the makings of our own and be free and start to enjoy life and thus it enhances your sense of gratitude as well. So if you're feeling bound by the past, then get your spike night out and start diffusing that and smelling that scent and allow its magic to dance with your mind and start to enjoy life more. Feel free, take flight and be grateful for the great life you have. When I first smelt spike night essential oil, the first word that came into my mind was Namaste. That beautiful blessing where the divine spark of light within me acknowledges the divine spark of light within you. And thus, Spike Night is great for acknowledging and blessing those things and those people that are important to us. It can be made as a blessing oil and when someone is important to you, consecrating them or blessing them with that essential oil and a bit of a mix is a really great blessing. You can also bless and purify any magical tools or anything that's important to you because it is brought up in its vibration and has then become sacred and protected. But more importantly, what I've noticed with Spike Night Essential Oil when I'm doing my readings is that people that don't like it seem to not be acknowledging their own gifts and their own divine light. And so Spike Night will help you to shine brightly and to actually start sharing your gifts with the world. Now if you smell it and you don't like it, some people say it smells like dirty feet, which I find quite entertaining considering Jesus' feet were anointed with it once. But what happens is start to put that on your feet each night and that chemistry and that magic and the energy of the Spike Night will actually change and then start to look at where you can shine. 
spikenard essential oil is said to grow at the gates of the Garden of Eden and so it will lift you up to the heavens. In fact, as you work with spikenard more, because it's such a spiritual essential oil, it can help you to connect with all senses of spirituality, to connect with your angels, with your guides. It is renowned for helping you connect with those on the other side. So if you're interested in clairvoyance or mediumship or channeling, it can be great. If you want to contact someone who's passed away, diffusing spikenard can be really good. And it can help with astral travel and dream work as well. So if you're really excited about connecting with spiritual realms around you and also allowing your spirituality and your gifts to shine, then spike out as essential oil that you definitely need to be working with. Spike Nard being such a spiritual oil works on some really powerful chakras. Now there are the basic seven, but then on either side of that are the Sol Star, which is 15 centimeters above the head, and the Earth Star, which is 15 centimeters below the feet. Now whereas our seven main chakras all work independently of each other, these two tend to develop and open up and become more stimulated and larger together. You know, the saying I use is that a tree can only grow as high as its roots go deep. And that is so true with the Earth Star and the Soul Star Chakra. Now, Spikenard allows you to work with both these chakras. And so it's really good to use in blends and diffusers and to just to inhale whenever you're working with either of these chakras. Visualize an ultraviolet or a magenta light 15 centimeters above your head and a nice deep brown one going into the earth. The Soul Star Chakra helps you connect with the spiritual consciousness of all that was, is, and will ever be. And whereas the Earth Star Chakra helps you connect with the Earth Consciousness, connecting you to every other person, the, every animal, every plant, and everything that is part of this Earth. And so it really opens you up spiritually. So working with Spikenard will enhance your connection to everything above and below. Spikenard is a really powerful oil but blends really nicely with just one or two drops added with other essential oils. But let me share a few blends that I really like to use. A traditional one mixes spikenard, cinnamon, juniper and myrrh. And this blend is said to get the favour of the gods and bring the blessings of the gods and really enhance your meditation. So if you're interested in doing that more spiritual work and going and connecting with the other realms, that can be really, really supportive. It can also help if someone is near passing or near death, it can help them actually feel comfortable with that process. Now we're talking about the Soul Star and the Earth Star Chakra. Let me give you my favourite blends for that. Now for the Soul Star, do equal blends or equal parts of spruce, white fir, lotus and spikenard. And for the Earth Star Chakra, do equal parts of uh, Arbor Vitae, rose, spikenard and oak moss. If you can't find oak moss, then vetiver will be a great substitute. Put them in a roller with some with a carry oil and roll them or anoint yourself with them or diffuse them to help to enhance that meditation or to connect you with that soul star or earth star chakra. If you want to make the most out of your spike nard essential oil, then bring in other things that have a similar energy. I love working with crystals and the few that work really well with spike nard. Now around the new moon, the time of new beginnings and letting go of the old. Black kyanite can be really good. I'll give you an extreme close up. There you go. You can see it grows in these kind of sprays out and it can be really protective and it's a stone of the threshold. So it actually allows you to connect with beings of the other side, whether that be fairies, angels, gnomes, it could be, uh, you know, you're trying to channel, uh, it could be those that are passed over. So this is a really great one to work with, especially around the new moon and around the uh, Halloween or Samhain. Now on the full moon, when we want to start connecting up and using our soul star chakra there's a couple of different crystals Asingjite, which is this beautiful violet one there it's your extreme close-up really good for allowing you to bring out that spirituality and apply that to everyday life and then you've got sugi light which is all about forgiveness and accepting people for who they are instead of trying to change them that true unconditional love so bring those crystals in either the two violet ones around the full moon or you've got the black one around the new moon now I also like to bring on an animal totem and the animal guide or totem that I call upon is the goat. Now this can be from the humble domestic goat all the way up to the great wild mountain goats that climb those great extents. Goats teach us to be sure-footedness as we reach for higher and higher success in our lives, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially and spiritually. And so calling on goat can teach you how to slowly and steadily be more successful in your life. Astrologically, Spikenard resonates with Saturn, and so Saturn rules Saturday, and this is the best day to do any serious workings with Spikenard. 
Saturn also rules Capricorn, so Spite Night can really help Capricorns as they strive to be successful in life. It helps them to aspire for more spiritual and more um, success that will benefit everyone rather than just material gains for themselves. Now, have you worked with Spike Night Essential Oil? Please share with our Earth loving community and leave a comment in the section below. I'd also love you to subscribe to this channel as I continue to put up different videos about essential oils, crystals and other elements of nature. Please remember when it comes to essential oils that not all essential oils are created the same. So look for a, a pure therapeutic grade one, ideally harvested from where the plant is native because then you're going to get the most powerful essential oil that's great therapeutically and spiritually the frequencies can be really nice as well. I'm looking for people to help me share the love of Mother Earth and her gifts by sharing essential oils around the world. So if you're interested in that please shoot me an email and I'll leave that right below in the comments. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be and Namaste.